Hi and welcome to this uh, DevTV presentation on acoreconsole.exe. I am Balaji and I work for the Developer Technical Services at Autodesk. In this uh, DevTV presentation, I will first introduce you to the acoreconsole.exe. We will then look at the different command line switches that can be used with this command line executable. We will also look at using the custom commands with acoreconsole.exe both using the object ARX and the AutoCAD.NET API. Here is a brief introduction about acoreconsole.exe. In the past, all of the AutoCAD core was contained in a monolithic acad.exe file. In AutoCAD 2013, the AutoCAD logic has been separated from the AutoCAD's user interface. The UI features now go into acad.exe while the logic goes into a DLL called acore.dll. Now the acore and the acdb DLLs contain all the AutoCAD and the DWG business logic. We now build AutoCAD for Windows and AutoCAD for Mac on top of these two DLLs. This separation of acore and acad.exe also enabled us to develop a version of AutoCAD that can now run without a user interface. This faceless version of AutoCAD is now called the acoreconsole.exe and is a command line executable version of AutoCAD. This executable can be found in the install folder of AutoCAD 2013. The primary benefit of acoreconsole executable is that it has a very quick startup time as compared to regular AutoCAD. It is therefore ideally suited for fast batch processing of large number of drawings. The acoreconsole.exe has four command line switches that it can take. They are the slash s for the script file path, the slash i for the drawing file path and the slash l for the language and the slash isolate for registry product root key isolation. We will talk about this a little later. But first, when acoreconsole.exe is launched without any switches, it displays only the command prompt. In the command prompt, you can type any AutoCAD command that you would usually use within AutoCAD. Now let's see a demo of this. I go to the AutoCAD 2013 install folder. Now since I have not specified any command line switches, now I get the command prompt where I can type the command that I want to execute. Let's say it's a sphere, the center at the origin, say radius of 5. Now I will save this drawing and accept the default location and now I can quit the is equal console.exe. Now let's check the drawing that we have just created. So this is the drawing that we have created from acoreconsole.exe. Now this way of using acoreconsole.exe was to get you started but the typical usage of it will most likely involve the usage of command line switches. I will now show a few demonstrations that will help you understand these command line switches. In the first demo, I have a script file that generates a PDF file for a drawing. This is a regular AutoCAD script file. Now we will use this script file with acoreconsole.exe by specifying the slash s for the script file path and slash i for the drawing file path. To save me some typing, I have already created a batch file for this. Instead, if you prefer, you can type the same in the windows command prompt. Let's get this batch file started and generate the pdf. Now if you see the output, the acoreconsole.exe gets started and then executes the script file 
and once it's done close this and check the PDF that has been generated now in the second demo I will use the slash L switch now if you have AutoCAD uh, 2013 language pack installed in your system then you can use the slash L switch to launch the AC core console.exe uh, in the specified language for instance in my system I have the German language pack installed so the use of slash L switch will let me choose between English and the German versions of AC core console now here is a script file now that uh, generates the PDF file for a drawing it is uh, similar to the script file that I used in the previous demo but all the commands are now in German now when I invoke the AC core console.exe I have also specified the language the other two command line switches are the same let's get this uh, batch file running and see the output as you can see from the output the AC core console has now started in the German language now it's done so let's check the PDF file in the third demo we will look at the slash isolate switch inside a script you may have occasions when the AutoCAD system variables will need to be changed if the changes to the system variables are to be kept isolated from regular AutoCAD then the slash isolate can do that for you it lets the AC core console.exe to create a copy of the user registry product root key let's first run this batch file in this batch file I have mentioned the slash isolate switch so that the product root key is now copied separately and the changes that I make in the script file do not affect the regular AutoCAD so let's run this first so in this I have changed the plot rotation mode system variable to a different value let's open the registry editor and see the copy that has been made here is the AutoCAD uh, 19.0 and now it has additionally created a copy of the product root key under which the changes to the system variables will be stored in the fourth demo we will look at using custom commands in your script file for this you will need to create a CRX plugin which can then be loaded using AC core console.exe just as .arx plugins are loaded in AutoCAD the, the AC core console.exe can only load .crx plugins CRX is an abbreviation for core runtime extension it is a plugin that is developed using the object ARX API but it is one that relies only on the core AutoCAD functionality it should not have a dependency on AutoCAD UI specific features the plugin is renamed as .crx to distinguish it from a regular AutoCAD.ARX plugin. Here is a .CRX plugin code. It implements a command called at replace that finds and replaces attribute values in the drawing. Here is a drawing that has an attribute with tag name called power and its value is 200 watts. We will replace the attribute text by first loading the CRX plugin and then invoking the at replace command in the script file we load the CRX plugin and then invoke the at replace command so let's run the ac core console.exe with the usual parameters 
the slash i for the drawing file path and slash s for the script file path as you can see ac core console.exe has run the script file which invokes the custom command and replace the the attribute text with a different value let's close this and check the drawing the attribute text has been replaced in the fifth demo we will look at using a custom command in ac core console.exe and which is now implemented using the autocad.net api ac core console.exe can only load .net plugins that rely on core autocad functionality that is your .net plugin must not have a reference to acmgd.dll the plugin can only have references to ac db mgd and ac core mgd unlike the .crx there is no change in the extension for the .net assembly it will still remain a .dll now here is a .net plugin code it implements a command called entity select which finds the number of entities that are inside the bounds of a rectangle here is the same drawing that we used in our previous demo we will now find the number of entities within a specified window corner points in the script file we first net load the dot dll we then invoke the custom command and pass in the parameters required these are the corner points within which we are trying to locate the entities we now run the ac core console.exe as we see in the output we have run the command and found the entity handle in the samples folder that you can download along with this dev tv presentation there are two additional samples there is a sample called ac core console demo this is a regular winform application that uses the ac core console.exe by using it in the background when a drawing is selected in the list view this application uses the ac core console.exe to generate an image for it and then it displays it in the picture box this application is to demonstrate yet another way to use the ac core console.exe that is from an application that shows up its own user interface and which does the background processing using ac core console there is another sample that demonstrates the use of ac core console.exe from a simple batch file this batch file invokes the ac core console.exe and it continuously looks for drawings in a specified folder when drawings are found in this folder it processes them and then creates a pdf for it and copies the drawing along with the pdf to a different folder so let's first run the batch file and then copy few drawings to the folder we'll then wait for the batch file to process these drawings now that the drawings have been processed let's check the out folder and you can see that the drawings along with the generated pdf files have been copied to the out folder this brings us to the end of the dev tv presentation hope you like this new autocad 2013 feature thank you very much